Ready? Go! Okay, before we go back to the battle, I just realized uh, I haven't put anyone else in the gym, so I should probably do that. So, enhanceables? I haven't... Do I have any more enhanceables? I've just got quite a few, actually. Oh, I must have got a second boulder out of classic mode. Forgot you were enhanceable. I have a second one of you, too. I'm probably going to sacrifice you, actually. Uh, how about... I'm curious to see what you enhance into, actually. And the Dracula can be enhanced too. Yeah, let's go for Dracula. You can be enhanced too. Kind of curious. I, I think you'll probably just turn into Link Between Worlds Link, but we can see. Yeah, I do have a few duplicate spirits because I played a bit of classic mode. Boo? Uh, I don't know what you're going to enhance into. Maybe I should try that. But I also kind of want to see what Midna enhances into. Yeah, I had way more enhanceable spirits than I thought I did. But anyway, I want to see if I can afford anything in the skill tree too. I've got quite a few. Well, I've already beaten Roy, but I guess we can take that. Still can't believe I thought the skill tree was the thing that needed to be balanced in order to get the true ending. Speaking of which... So I do know that defeating Master Hand and Crazy Hand here is the key to opening up the path to the real ending, which is through that bridge. But I think I want to take out all of the spirits first. And I think I can do that while still keeping things balanced. So let us continue. We have Eve, who I think is from Mother One. Or Mipha. Oh, I was saying I wanted to clear out the middle, so let's go for Eve first. Red Rob makes perfect sense. I do know a spoiler about you, but that's pretty much all I know. Also, what music is this? Ready? Magic Hand. Oh, the new Magic Hand remix. <laughs> wow, Roy sounds angry when he does his side beat. And his upbeat feels a little different to how it used to be. That's a cool throw, though. Oh, no. Also, I do, admittedly, even though I don't like FE6, I do like what they did with Roy's Final Smash, because it looks exactly like his critical hit animation with the Binding Blade in FE6. Now, I believe... Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not, but I am now. But yeah, I believe that Roy's uh, fully charged B can damage him, so gotta be careful of that in stamina mode. I think uh, Ike's eruption does as well, actually. Yeah, I'm definitely dead again. I have heard that Smash 4 made Roy very good, but yeah. Roy was generally seen as inferior to. M oh, I gotta remember that I need to stay close because Roy does have the Ready? sweet spot at the center of his blade. Is it the center or is it the hilt? I think it's actually the hilt. 
I thought that was my final smash. But yeah, I'm actually switching off of Roy for this. I think I might switch to Dark Samus. Or use different spirits. I'm really tempted to use Hot Pink Dark Samus. Very, very tempted. Although I think that's based off the Varia Suit coloration from the original NES game. That looks cool, though. That looks cool as well. Like a lot of Dark Samus' color palettes. That is based on the color, I believe, of the the more dangerous form of Phazon in the first game, which kind of fits, knowing what Dark Samus is. The one that still hurts you, even with the Phazon suit. Okay, gotta get used to a totally new character here. This Dark Samus, I believe, is floatier than regular Samus, but he's otherwise almost unchanged. I'm having more trouble with you than I have with most of the... Spirits in the dark? Like most of the four-star spirits in the dark world? What the heck is going on? You just do brutal damage and really quickly because of the, your super armor. Either that or it's just because I haven't played this game in a while. Your AI seems pretty powerful. Not powerful, but your AI seems pretty good as well. And sudden... Oh. Yeah, I've actually since found out that Rob's Final Smash changed in every single game it's been in. That's a pretty cool looking victory animation. I still don't even know how I won that, but still. Guess I'll use Dark Samus a little bit more. Hmm. You can actually get multiple people in a single throw with Corrin, that's cool to know. So, I believe that was the first... Uh, that was a Light Spirit, right? Pretty sure that was a Light Spirit. Was that a Dark Spirit? Oh, great. I'm... Well, if the balance gets shifted, I can always shift it back later, because we have direct confirmation whenever the balance does shift. Something tells me I'm going to be cutting around a lot here. Oh, hi. You being represented by Wario really makes sense, actually. Yeah, Pigma is by far the worst member of Star Wolf morally, I'm pretty sure. He's the one who's known for saying Daddy screamed real good before he died. And there's my Dark Screw attack. Now Dark Missiles. I do remember that Pigma had, um... A, like, what happened to Pigma in Command was pretty disturbing. Although I think that's an extension of what happened to him in Assault. But I mean, admittedly, <laughs> he kind of had it coming. I mean, Leon's kind of a sadist, and Wolf is mostly just a mercenary doing his job who just happens to be hired by the other side. Um, Andrew's just desperate to impress his uncle, but Pigma just is insane and evil. Oh. Huh. Some people would say you're the real Dark Samus, but still, the enemy falls slowly. Okay, then. Some would say that other M made Samus fall quickly. <laughs> but at least, um, at least Samus returns Bora back into the fore again. Ready? Go! But I guess young Samus is like kind of from the manga as well, so yeah, you can probably. Can I oh, almost walk off ledge, you? Ah, oh, I was hoping that you'd just fall and die. Speaking of young Samus though, like in her not controversial appearances, so I believe some of them were Japanese exclusive. They are uh, in in uh, was it which one was it? Was it in Fusion or was it? I think I, Fusion was the one that had a Japan exclusive hard mode and also a Japan exclusive easy mode, which was really liked by speedrunners because uh, easy mode in Fusion actually removes the random factor in a lot of the bosses. For example. 
I don't even know what happened there. I'm gonna have to do a slow mo for that one. <laughs> nice shoulder ram there, Dark Samus. But anyway, uh, easy mode, basically, so for example, um, what, what's the, what's the giant plant boss called? The boss of Tro, of the tropical region of Metroid Fusion. So, on all, on normal, it will jump a random number of times before exposing its weak point, and speedrunners really hate that. That was a Dark Spirit, right? I, at least I, was that a Dark Spirit or was that a Light Spirit? I'm losing track now and I really shouldn't be. Chibi Robo. Okay then. No, not Flying Man. But anyway, the point I was getting at though, on, on easy mode, he always jumps once and then exposes his weak point. So again, speedrunners love it because there's no random factor. Can I walk off the ledge as you? Oh, Dark Samus' dash attack is really good. I don't know if regular Samus' is any different or if it's the same. Not sure what you'd enhance to as well. Okay, now I need to go for a Dark Spirit. But basically, is that depending on what difficulty you are on and your percentage and also your time, you get different artwork. Oh yeah, I definitely screwed up. But at least I can correct that by defeating two Light Spirits next. Or can I? I've heard horror stories about you. So let's go for a different Light Spirit. And some of the artwork for beating the game on the Japan exclusive hard mode, I think, or was that Metroid? It was either that or Zero Mission. But one of them had actually showed young Samus training with the Chozo, and it was actually pretty cool. Oh, right, stamina. And you're almost down. I think this brace won't save you this time! I do like that spear, but it is very, very annoying to forge another one in Breath of the Wild. Okay. Balance is still shifted too far in favor of darkness. I need to defeat another light spirit. Giga Mac. Should I, or should I... Hey, Mario. You know, if I get the balance back, I can then fight Giga Mac and then Dr. Eggman and do two four stars in a row. That might not be a bad idea. With you being, re I think actually that's not referee Mario. That's some other Mario, like a tennis Mario. But anyway, Go! Oh, those Yoshi's, um, yeah, protecting you, which kind of makes sense. So yeah, random tangent for the day about this one is that I have never actually. I just noticed your shield broke. Oh, except the Yoshi hate me before I could capitalize on that. There's my screw attack. So random tangent for today is that uh, I never played Yoshi's Story, but I've heard a lot of people say bad things about it. But I do know that uh, could have been bad. I, I do know that like I saw a friend of mine at like at school play it, and one thing that looked really disturbing is that every time you lose all your health as one of the Yoshi's, like the Kamek comes and takes it away, and gradually like all the Yoshi's are just gone. You have less and less Yoshi's left, and that's just kind of disturbing. Also, this is actually a pretty nice remix. Can I get all of you in this giant beam of death? I got two of you at least. Actually, I... The other two walked into it, and thus I got a Quadra KO. Hmm. What could you enhance into? My only thought is Mario and Luigi series Mario, because the babies were in that game. Why is the balance not shifted again? Oh no. Did I mess up? I can't have screwed this up permanently, can I? Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute, I'm a moron! Defeating light spirits shifts the balance more in favor of darkness, I need to defeat more dark spirits! That's what happened! That's why the balance isn't shifting back. Okay, I am really, really dumb. Gotta think opposites. So, let's phase Tanatos. Yeah, yeah, I know, the extra H is short for amazing. Yeah, it is hard to remember to think in opposites sometimes. Ready? Go! And then I'm sure people in the comment section are like getting really annoyed at me now, but yeah. Of course, defeating the Oh, that makes sense. Why do I start with the staff? Nice reach on that though. I'll probably shift characters soon though. Because I've used Dark Samus for quite a few fights. I'm actually quite enjoying Dark Samus. She feels a little different from regular Samus. Actually, wait a minute. I don't like calling Dark Samus a she. Because they're technically just a sentient radioactive sludge possessing Samus' former suit. So, really, it's an it. Oh, hi there, Rouge the Bat. <laughs> You're that government agent, Rouge the Bat, aren't you? That line always just makes so many people laugh because it's like, um, what was your first clue? How many other bats named Rouge do you know? <laughs> Haven't used Sonic in a while. I guess Sonic was instrumental to the final battle of Brawl. He can be instrumental to this final battle too. Well, I mean, I suppose Rouge was kind of a major playable character in Heroes, but... Why? Like, uh, I guess they could have used a song from Adventure 2, but yeah. I don't really remember much about Rouge's theme. Why are you being represented by a fox? That's really dumb. Uh, well, I mean, I guess there are flying foxes, which are kind of kind of bad, or at least they, they look similar to bats. What? Well, actually, you know, technically speaking, that does kind of fit that moment where Rouge fall almost falls into lava and Knuckles has to save her despite the fact she has wings. She just forgets she has wings. Uh, but yeah, that was weird. You're representing a flying character and you weren't even trying to save yourself there. Ah. I didn't know you were a four-star. Also, you're totally a different character from regular K. Rool and not just K. Rool in a pirate outfit. Oh, the invisibility is actually actually makes sense, because that was a thing in your original appearance. Okay, balance is still too far in the favor of darkness. I have to defeat more warriors of darkness. Including uh, a fairly... Well, I guess a funny guest character with another guest character. A very unfortunately named character. I will say, if I ever did play a Metal Gear Solid game, probably not on the channel, just on my own time. Oh, the rain! Okay, that's cool, that makes sense. Because, of course, someday you'll you'll go through the rain. One day you'll feast on it. That song's lyrics are really weird when you... Uh, in a lot of ways. Although, although I do like the main chorus beat. I give my life not for honor, but for you. That makes sense if you know what the story of that game is like. But anyway, what I was going to say is, if I did ever play a Metal Gear Solid game, I'd probably play 3. 3 looks pretty good, and I really like the concept of its storyline. I have been spoiled on how it ends, and I've heard that it's incredibly tragic, but yeah. Because, of course, the snake that's playable in that game has to become the villain of the other Metal Gear Solid games, so... Well, most of them. So... Yeah. Actually, wait, no, technically speaking, he's not the one of the first game, because retcons are <laughs> weird retcons from Metal Gear Solid 5. That's kind of spoilers, but yeah. I am bad with Sonic now! Oh, but I do have this, which sadly I can't control anymore. But at least that means it's no longer fully outclassed by... Victory! By... Uh, it, it no longer fully outclasses Pikachus. I'm guessing you'll turn into either Metal Gear Solid 4 or 5 Big Boss. Please tell me the balance has shifted now. Yes! And that should be even again. 
Right, no need to panic. We're even again. Good. And now that we're even again... If I fight Dr. Eggman first, will that shift the balance too far in favour of darkness? A light... Ugh. Stupid. Pfft. Really stupid, yeah. Which means I should probably fight Gigamac first, actually. But while I'm playing as Sonic, I might as well fight Dr. Eggman. So I've heard horror stories about this fight. Roy, which kind of represents Eggman's, you know, flying uh, flying capsules that he's often in. Kind of like Dr. Wily, actually. Uh, bob -ombs will rain from the sky after a little while. Enemy shooting items have increased power. Uh, items will be pulled towards the enemy. Not really sure about that, but um, shooting types. I suppose that makes sense. Well, Dark Matter sort of fits, because Dr. Eggman, just like King Diddy, he also has a habit of playing with evil entities that are obviously beyond his control. Though he's kind of fallen out of that habit lately. That used to be a big thing for him in the adventure games. Ready, go. Oh, and of course there's a Metal Sonic. I should have put Metal Killer. Because yeah, that is literally Metal Sonic. Oh no. Oh, please die. That'd be... Aw. Oh. That would have been pretty funny if you'd actually fallen down a pit and died. Whoa, everything's exploding. I don't even know where I am. Drill. Well, Eggman's used a drill mech before. I think that's, that was in Sonic 2? I, I haven't really played a lot of the classic Sonic games. I don't want to spin down. Whoa, this is a chaotic fight. I don't even know what's going on for this. Oh, I have, I have a gun now. <laughs> Which is, is, doesn't make any sense because... Ow. Whoa, okay then. <laughs> a lot of explosions in this fight. I guess that's like his missile barrage from Sonic Adventure 1. Um, but anyway, uh, what I was going to say is that in Shadow of the Hedgehog, Sonic, sa Sonic says, Personally, I wouldn't be caught dead with one of those things. <laughs> when Shadow grabs a gun because he's edgy. You know what, this should have been, uh, like, the more enemies spawn, and every time more enemies spawn, Eggman says, you know what they say, the more the merrier. And then he just got carried. Okay. By his own bomb festival, which makes sense because of <laughs> the egg dealer from Shadow the Hedgehog, otherwise known as, uh, was that a dud bomb? -omb? It looked like it, it just bounced off my head and did nothing. I am really bad with Sonic in this game. Wow, I think he's changed a bit. But we... That only took two tries. Not bad. Then again, Eggman pretty much never wins, so... Kind of fits. Except that one time in Sonic Riders, where he did win, but it was pointless. Which I think partially inspired the TV trope Meaningless Villain Victory. Even though it was originally called Pound of Flesh Twist as a Shakespeare reference, but... No, I think Meaningless Villain Victory makes more sense. It also is kind of alliteration. Oh, I've heard you're bad. Yeah, meaningless villain victory is exactly how you would sum up what happens with Eggman in Sonic Riders. I guess I, w I won't spoil it just in case, um... Is this enemy as a massive inferiority complex? Anyway. Now on to you. I have heard very, very bad things about this fight. To the point where the comment section of this song is a lot of people saying, Oh no, bad flashbacks to Gigamac. Stamina, enemy is giant. Ugh, this could be bad. I wish I was better with Sonic in this game. I used to be great with Sonic, but I'm terrible with Sonic now. Ah, uh, who to use here? I, I use Ken, but I kind of liked using Ken before. Oh, you know what? I haven't actually... Uh, maybe I should use my Me Brawler. Me Brawler. Yeah, let's uh, fight a um, really, really tough four-star spirit with a character that I'm not familiar with at all. Also, I like this song a lot. I really like this song. Do my fists count as well? Oh, I've heard Great Auto Heal is broken. So I might as well use it for this fight. Punch ya! I'm going to punch ya! Punch ya! I'll punch you in the face! That's the little doing the looks I have for this song. And I'm already almost dead! Yeah! Is Great Aura Heal even doing anything? I guess I'll find out when I edit this video and see if my health is going up or not. 
Yes, taunt me by giving me tips on little max power meter. Uh, yeah, maybe me brawler is not good for this fight. Projectiles are probably the way to go here. No, I did get heals. Dragon kick. No, she has like an attack for like zero boost. Or I completely forgot what the name of Angelica's ultimate like uh, S craft is, and I really shouldn't do that because Little Mac has final smash, and now I'm gonna die. I got the double. Get down here. You get down here right now. No! Okay, great aura heal admittedly is kind of good in this fight. Oh no, he's gonna turn into Giga Giga Mac. Oh no, I'm dead. Uh, no, I, I got an aura heal. Which I don't think it quite say. Like, I don't think it would have saved. Like, I don't think I would have died to that anyway, but. Oh no! Oh, I, I was trying to throw that at you! Oh no, he has a K Meter. Yeah, this song is really, really great. Did I just walk off ledges him? Okay, that was also two tries, so I guess perfect balance between light and dark has been maintained. I have a lot of very strong spirits, but that was a... I, I like that fight. I think it's difficult, but fair. Others might not share my opinion, but I, I actually do like that fight. Okay, we're still even. Good to know. Let's not mess that up this time. Let's not be stupid. Let's, I guess, clear this... Oh, that's a four-star. Octoling Octopus. Well, I guess we could go for a third four-star. But I kind of got to use Donkey Kong for this one. Donkey Kong. But we'll use Eddie Donkey Kong because we need to defeat Captain K. Rule to help. Actually, yeah, because DK has been captured in that one. So if we defeat him, then we can help Donkey Kong go back to his home. So, yeah, that makes sense. Like, I, 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 uh, I was going to play Donkey Kong Country 2, and then the Wii eShop went down, and I couldn't buy I think it actually got pulled from the Wii eShop as well, which is weird. Is that because of Rare? But, I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. You are dodging a lot. Okay, you don't have that much super armor, just like, and you can move all, which makes sense. Because you do that in the fight. But yeah, from what I... Like, I was gonna play Donkey Kong Country 2, and then, again, the eShop was gone, and yeah. But... This fight, this looks like a really good final boss fight, from what I've seen of it. It looks really, really great. And the boss theme for it is fantastic as well. Crocodile Calcophony. Which, there's a remix of it in this game, and it's a really great remix. I think the guy who remixed this song has only done, like, one other remix, but... Yeah, I, they're really good. They need to do more remixes. This fight's... Oh, I, wanna speak, I don't want to speak too soon. But I mean, I had, I had some pretty good luck with... Not good luck, but I had some success with DK earlier in this mode. Oh, no. Uh, failure. I wonder if a back shield can block that. I'm just appreciating this music. Yeah, I've noticed that DK with the aid of like powerful spirits is really good at breaking shields. And belly punch. Victory! Yeah, that was not that hard. We're getting so many legend spirits here. Okay, now I need to fight a light spirit. I will fight Master Hand and Crazy Hand eventually, just not quite yet. Oh, I suppose I should fight you. 
dangerously high winds are in effect, the enemy is neutral specialized increased power, the enemy favors neutral specials, the enemy is broken, the enemy has an inferiority complex. Anyway... I, I know that face discussion's kind of been done to death, but... I, I do think... I think Takumi's an alright character. I, I wouldn't really agree with people who say that he's a really fantastic and amazing character. Like, to be honest, I feel like a lot of his praise comes from husband or bias, which I'm still kind of against marrying the siblings, so I don't really feel any of that, but... Like, I, I do think, though, I like him better as a character than Leo. Like, I, I, I really don't care for Leo that much. I just find him kind of boring. But Takami's alright. I don't think he's the, like, as far as all the siblings go, I, I like the younger siblings the best, probably. Actually, yeah, Hinoka is also kind of bland, but she has some alright supports. It's like, like, to be honest, there aren't that many characters in Fates that I'm really a huge fan of. I feel like a lot of its characters are kind of bland. But... I do like Elise. I have also heard that both parts of uh, both the charge and both the shot and the bite can be charged. I think they both get charged at the same time, though. Come on, get over here so I can put you out of your misery from your copyright god possession. Wow, right through the chest. Ouch. With a chainsaw blade. I still like how that can damage people while it's charging, like while you're charging your side B. That's pretty cool. Razor... I've read that as Razor Win for a second, which is probably one of the worst Pokemon attacks out there. It really needs a buff. I feel like it was buffed in one generation, but that wasn't enough. Though I still find this Synchro... No I, I still think, like, as far as worst moves in all of Pokemon go, Constrict is up there, but so is Synchro Noise. It got buffed to have almost double its power. Might as well keep using Corrin. Uh, from Gen 5 to Gen 6, and it is still one of the worst moves in the game. It's a psychic move that only works on Pokemon of the same type as the user, so if it gets stabbed, it will usually be not very effective. And also, Umbreon can learn it. Just bear that in mind for a second. Think about it for a moment. I'm sure it will come to you eventually. Why, that's a terrible idea. But yeah, it's like 140? It's like one of the biggest power buffs of any move. But it's still awful. I still don't get why Constrict exists, though. In earlier generations, Bubble was entirely inferior to Water Gun, but now Bubble got buffed, and now Water Gun's pretty much worthless. I was watching a speedrun of Let's Go recently, and it was kind of interesting. I was talking about some of the move changes in it, and they mentioned how um, how Mega Drain works in Let's Go. They said like it's a kind of a weird situation because Giga Drain doesn't exist in Let's Go, but instead they buff Mega Drain to essentially be Giga Drain. And they also buffed Absorb, I think, as well, to be what Mega Drain used to be. That kind of makes sense, because uh, Absorb was redundant with Mega Drain existing anyway. Okay, so we fought a Dark Spirit. Now it's time to fight a Light Spirit. And that will be... <laughs> That's literally your amiibo pose. I suppose I can go for you. You constantly take minor damage from the very thought of Peach marrying Bowser. I mean, that does destroy the universe in, uh, yeah, in, um, in Super Paper Mario. I have an idea. Like, payback for her not really being his mother? I was about to say who is Bowser Jr.'s mother, and then I remembered that apparently... I know he was trolling, but apparently it's Miyamoto. I mean, it's, it makes sense in a sense, because if Miyamoto created the character, but yeah. Also, this song's amazing. Though I still... Like, I, I, I don't know if this is considered spoilers, but I guess I can say this. I still wish Mario and Peach actually did get married at the end of Odyssey. Because, like, if you think about it, it really wouldn't have changed much about the series. And 
it would have been a really great way to sort of cap off a game that kind of was very unique for a Mario game and changes the status quo a lot. And it's like one of the most iconic video game couples. It would have made sense. But yeah, I can see, like, like people would have been angry either way, but just me personally, I really wish they'd done that. Like, the, as, like, I was watching, I keep talking about speedruns that I've watched lately, but I was watching a speedrun of Odyssey lately, and I just realised how much I love Odyssey. Oh, like, Odyssey might be one of my favourite games of all time, actually. Just that feeling that I got while playing it is just, I look back so fondly on the time I spent playing that game, it was so great. But, uh, I do admit, the ending to me was a bit disappointing. I do wish they had just had the courage to actually shake up the status quo like that. And again, like, they could have had Bowser kid go on, move on to kidnapping other princesses, because he did that in 3D World. Oh, hi there. Didn't know you'd be here. The floor is poisonous. I suppose that makes sense. Obviously, we're not fighting you with uh, you, though. Actually, wait a minute. Corrin's too obvious. Who here is the hammiest character? I'm trying to think about this, actually. I mean, Ganondorf is. Ryu and Ken yell out their attacks dramatically. Well, I mean, honestly, if we're going for the Mind Me Fighters, Yu Narukami probably outhands everyone here, but... Don't think that counts. Ridley mostly just screams and stuff, though in the games where he's talkative, I think he is kind of hammy-ish. K. Rule definitely is in the show. And I think a little bit in game canon. Oh, Mewtwo is definitely as well, at least in this game. Ah. Uh, who among here is the chosen ham to defeat King Giant Ham, not a villain? I'm kind of tempted to go with K. Rule here. <laughs> Others might disagree, but I do think he's one of the hand- Oh, Incineroar as well. Incineroar as well. That would make sense too. But for the moment, I think I'll go with Cable. Hello everyone, it is me, King Giant Ham, not a villain. I have returned. You can never kill the ham. Nothing can kill the ham. I failed a non cost but now the Dark Lord Salt has brought me back only for the edgy scrub lord to revive me again as as my new master and now my ultimate ham shall destroy everything that may not have been the exact voice i used before how fitting garon is defeated by a crown trade of ability up it should have been ability the volume of all your attacks doubles, and you are definitely not an evil slime monster. It could have given you poisoned attacks, actually. Uh, I, I, st I still feel like, I don't know, I, I like Garon ironically, like I've said a lot, but I do think more could have been done with him. I definitely think he had more potential than Hans and Iago, but... Just the idea of a poisonous dragon is just kind of a cool concept, and I kind of wish more had been done with that. Star Lee, not Star Fee, who was called Staffy in Melly, I think, because they translated his name wrong. Of course, Arceus would be a four star. Corrin. Yeah, people have always said Corrin's dragon form looks like Arceus, or Xerneas. And yes, I'm saying Arceus, not Arceus, because to me, Arceus is the correct pronunciation. Fight me. <laughs> yes, I know it's not canon, but still. Oh, yeah, I've heard uh, bad things about you as well. But yeah, I know it said Arceus in every official English media, but it's Arceus in Japanese. So that's, I guess, still equally valid. Okay, let's switch off of K. Rule for now. Oh, I was talking about Incineroar before. Let's use Incineroar for a little bit. Now, where is Big the Cat Incineroar? There's Big the Cat Incineroar. Ugh. Oh, wow, that was terrible. Don't know what song this is. Tornum Island, Midley. Yeah. 
Sadly, we only got one Staffy game released over here because it's like, oh yeah, here in the West, we don't like cute things at all. No, we can't have a cute platformer. Everything needs to be dark and edgy all the time. Yeah, I've not used Incineroar for a while. <laughs> Your singing offends me, be gone. Um, hi. Can I catch you? Phew, that almost was ended very badly. Oh, temporary invincibility. Right. That's Darkest and Lariat. Oh, here we go, Lariat. Should try again in Cinderella's throws. I've heard they're incredibly strong. Come here, Jiggly. Let me grab you. Nope, you're invincible now. Oh no, oh no, bad. Yeah, but that doesn't put me into free fall, so I need to abuse that. I'm here. Victory! Nice! For some reason, it's always felt very satisfying to me to KO things with up throws. It just always looks really good when it happens. Okay, so that's a light spirit. I suppose I can do one more dark spirit, then I might end things for this part. We almost had a close call, but thankfully I restored the balance. Restored the balance um, from my idiocy. So, which dark spirit will we find? Ball. That's a game and watch game, I'm pretty sure. Mother Brain. Well, Mother Brain's certainly more interesting. Let's well, and, and that is definitely your zero mission art. Because, like, I remember, was it, like, in a Runaway Guys video? They were saying, like, imagining Mother Brain looking at you head-on is very kind of weird. But, no, you see that in several cutscenes in Zero Mission. I still haven't defeated Mother Brain in my 1% run of Zero Mission as well. Because it, it's not really a hard fight, it's just really tedious. You have to constantly grind missiles off of her attacks. It's annoying. <laughs> yes, I will beat up Mother Brain with her own minions. I also, like, speaking of which, I really like the idea that Metro Prime 3 uh, kind of implies that Mother Brain might be the pro. Or, is that going to hurt me if I get caught in the explosion? Okay, good. But yeah, uh, I like the idea of, like, either Mother Brain was what the Aurora units were based on, or Mother Brain- Oh, that's cheating! Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you may have killed my Mother Brain, but we have a spare. Anyway, uh, yeah, like, the idea that Mother Brain is either, like, I like to think of Mother Brain as a rogue Aurora unit, or, like, the Aurora unit that, like, either- I don't know if Mother Brain really even has a backstory or anything. I think the whole idea of her being an Aurora unit might not be true. It might be that the Aurora units are based on her, but... But, I mean, like, you see at one point, Metroid Prime 3 prototype Aurora unit defense system, and it looks exactly like Mother Brain's defense system, so one of them was definitely based on the up. Like, either she's a rogue one or they were based on her. Oh, you'll obviously turn into giant monster, Mother Brain. From, yeah, your second form from... Probably your second form from Super Metroid, which is still a pretty cool boss fight. Even though it is technically an unwinnable fight, but anyway. So with that, we don't have a lot left here. I've cleared out most of this place, so next time we will be... We'll probably clear out all the spirits next time. Wow, this area went on for much less than I thought it would. And the balance is still well balanced. So, see you next time where we continue to maintain that balance.